Hi ladies, welcome back to Lady of Short. Are you ready for the first video that will give you more information? As ladies, of course, we are different with the men, and we have a more tools, equipment. No, I mean a lot of stuff. Banyak barang yang harus disiapkan. And kita beda dengan laki-laki. We are different with a man. Especially, we also have a period season. Ah, every month you will get a period. <laughs> so, what to prepare when you have to go to offshore more than one week? So, this time I'm here, I'm just arrived. I'm gonna show you what things to bring in offshore. <laughs> So everything must be in place, everything must be clean, everything must be available to make me comfortable during work. So um, I'm not easy ladies actually, but I have to work in offshore, which is you cannot buy anything suddenly. So you have to prepare whatever you need before offshore. And you have to bring whatever you need before offshore. So this can become your checklist before going offshore. One more thing that going offshore you have to be very very simple. You have to be very efficient and effective for sure for your life. All stuff you bring have to support your life. I'm gonna go to offshore for three weeks and plus 10 days quarantine because now you know it's a COVID-19 protocol I have to be in quarantine area 14 days so I have to prepare all my stuff for one month you have to put everything into a compact bag a travel bag maximum 26 inch no more than that okay big why because doing transferring to offshore you can do boat transfer or you can do helicopter transfer if you want to know what is it boat transfer is you have to move from crew boat to the location that you have like a floating unit or a platform or you can transfer through a helicopter from the land you will fly using helicopter and you will landing to the production facilities area so you for sure do not bring big travel bag it will make a complicated for you you cannot bring a big bag you cannot leave it up by your own you are ladies ladies is ladies and it's very heavy you cannot bring like that you have to look at my back ah! so ladies just like what i told you currently i'm in quarantine hotel it's quite nice hotel i'm quite lucky but let's do unboxing my bag you want to see how big is my bag that one so let's see what is inside it's 26 inch bag and one small backpack and also one another for safety shoes let's see so guys I tell you that you're not gonna bring big travel bag so this is enough so let's do unboxing what is inside you can see this is very compact I recommend you are using this bag you can see here it's a fabric it's not a hard case it's a soft case I would recommend you to use the soft case not a 
hard case travel bag because it will limit your stuff so this is will be more flexible let's unboxing everything i need for one month in offshore and quarantine all is inside wonderful isn't it Yes, that is what is inside of my bag it's a lot isn't it but everything you need is already inside everything in small size yes that is the clue you have to find out something in a small size so like this normally i'm not bring a lot of clothes because laundry in offshore is very quick they will uh, when you put in laundry bag and put in a laundry room they will complete it in one day so it's very quick that is why I only bring two pieces every time like a sleeping uh, clothes two pieces hijab also I bring more it's around four pieces and also uh, clothes two, two sets so that will limit whatever you bring in your bag everything is always two so one for laundry one that i use every day like that so you can see here this is the only clothes that i bring on board this is hijab this is for exercise we need to keep healthy right also when you go to daily pantry you cannot use wear pack it's considered dirty jadi kalian kalau mau makan atau mau ke tempat rekreasi buat santai kalian harus pakai baju bebas also uh, a thin trouser long trouser and normally i also bring small towel because uh, we don't know that they will provide us towel or not please remember that we go to offshore not to the hotel so we need to be prepared as possible because I'm a Muslim I bring prayer set I prefer the thin one and also the mat the thin one also this is the wear pack for work I bring also two okay this is for work underwear I bring more underwear because normally I'm not put it to laundry I will wash with myself we hang in the bathroom after wash kita cuci di kamar mandi terus kita taruh di sana kita jemur di sana karena kan it is impossible laundry man normally is a man so um, I feel not comfortable if put if let them clean my underwear I also bring a mask and also I bring a mask for work why because uh, everything in offshore is limited it is a sock i bring two pairs and that's all so do not bring a lot of stuff because it will be useless so like this besides whatever we are wear we have to bring our own stuff lady stuff this is as a checklist for you I have my shampoo 
I also have a shower. This is big because I will be on board for three weeks. I also bring this uh, hand body. I have this uh, to avoid smell in my body. <laughs> Honestly, this is necessary or not, it depends on you. I bring mask, fish mask, because sometimes if you are on board for a long time, your skin will change. You can uh, have a dry skin and it will damage your face skin. So be careful. I bring this. I normally use only once in a week or twice in a week. A comb, toothpaste. You know what is this? Pembalut wanita, guys. We have to bring this if we know that during on board we will have our common period as a woman. Also, I bring my own medicines I put in one bag. In addition, because we are still fighting with a coronavirus, so I had to go in quarantine and a lot of many restrictions more and more restrictions so I prefer to bring my own food at, at least if I don't like the food that they serve you cannot imagine what they are served we don't know yet so I bring several things that makes me uh, feel comfortable so I bring some stuff like uh, I bring black pepper it's a uh, olive oil spray and also <laughs> this is a chili powder why I bring this tree because if I don't like the food I will Power, I will put one of these to the food so I can eat that because I have no choice I have to eat that right because in this quarantine I cannot go outside so I try to bring I bought some foods and also I bought some uh, snack with me I don't bring a lot I just love this and I also bring coffee with me normally I bring this in Excel so I have my own uh, espresso hand machine I bring uh, it's a tea the last one is I bring the oat milk because during in quarantine period I don't think I will have a heavy breakfast and in Indonesia normally everything served in heavy breakfast with uh, rice and so on uh, so if I don't like what they serve for me I will eat uh, this so guys that's all what is inside of my bag so you can see that it's a compact travel bag everything you need is inside that and I separate any electronic uh, tools like charger, power bank, uh, laptop to my small bag. And like this, when you are go offshore, you have to remember you only to bring two type of shoe, safety shoes, and another shoes that is can be used for everything, and it must be fully closed. An example like my shoes. I'm gonna show you that. See this? You can use this for exercise. You can use this for walk. And this is all you need in our shoe. Fully closed. Okay. You will not allow to use sandals. You are not allowed to use. Uh, open fingers area jadi sandal yang terbuka di area kaki kalian gak akan izinkan menggunakan itu so 
that's all you have to bring I have already explained to you everything any question put in comment okay ladies one more thing that we are still fighting with the coronavirus the normal thing that we have to bring I already show you now the additional one that you have to bring is the you have to bring your own bottle and glass and also dining set uh, that's why I buy the flexible like this it's a bottle and also I have for the glass the same one it's a collapsible glass and collapsible bottle so it can be good things for you to bring and not having a lot of space in your bag I'm gonna do something like this it's a collapsible so you can see so about the bottle you have to bring your own bottle because in offshore they will not provide you a bottle and for the dining set I have my own so you know this so I'm gonna show you my set tissues okay I put in here because it is not enough it's to my any bag it is big enough so like this I think that's all I can share with you preparation to go offshore so it can be a checklist for you minimum that you have to bring it depend on you if you don't like to bring a hand body it's up to you but for me I will bring everything that I need that I expect I need to avoid any problem so ladies are you ready to go offshore I'm waiting for you there thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe like and share also comment is important for me so what you want me to share next I'm gonna show you bye bye see you next time